Today, we finally got the first bit of information on how the new Call of Duty Gunsmith 2.0 works for Modern Warfare 2. Let's look at some of the video here. So, they posted this live on the Twitter and it's on the YouTube as well. And they cover a lot of My the stuff going on. Uh, these are some of the devs. Uh, right now, they only are really showing us the M4 loadout. If you look at the M4, they're actually going to talk about having five slots here. Uh, but there's technically six slots to be had for the weapon. So with every build, obviously, we're going to look here at the loadout. We have the option of a tactical upgrade. This is our perk package. It looks like by this is the Modern Warfare uh, thing. Obviously, this is not looking into uh, Warzone specifically, but this is how it looks like you're building your loadouts. Uh, you've got a pistol, you got your tactical, your lethal, you got perks, and you've got a tactical upgrade. This is going to be similar to something like a ammo box or something if you play Plunder. That is your slot for that. This right here, though, this is the part that fi I find interesting. You see two perks here, which looks to be the starter one. And then this looks like a perk that you probably earn and another one you earn by probably playing in the game. Which means this is kind of like how Specialist worked in Modern Warfare 1. Uh, and we'll see if it works the same way here. Uh, we see slots right here, five. And we see level one through 20, one, one of one. So these are just kind of, uh, I guess, early versions of how the gunsmith is going to look. Uh, we go into it, they're looking at the M4. Here are your slots here. We have access to muzzle, barrel, underbarrel, laser, ammunition, magazine, optic, stock, and rear grip. But there is one more attachment here, and this is apparently how the new family tree and gunsmithing pretty much works out here. This is all of your options for how you upgrade your weapons um, and how they change. So this right here, M4, this receiver determines all of this information that you have right here and the tree that it works through. So you can go through and you can go through and edit each of these individual pieces uh, for a maximum of five modifications, zero out of five. Um, this shows you all of our stats here, damage, fire rate, range, accuracy, recoil control, mobility, and handling. Before this was just control and before accuracy was included in this. So we're seeing accuracy and control working together, um, which means most likely uh, we're going to get some more confusing options here when we start building weapons. But it gives me more to do, so I'm nothing against it. Um, if we go in here and we start looking at the first things, these are the stocks available for the M4 right now. Uh, sprint to fire, crouch movement speed, aim down sight speed, and uh, con is recoil control. And I imagine we're going to see a lot of similar things. No stock is going to be recoil control, but movement speed and up. Um, and, you know, strike stock is probably going to be ADS speed. This one's going to be a stability one. This one's going to be a stability and recoil control. This one is probably recoil control and ADS speed at the cost of probably ADS or uh, movement speed or something like that. Uh, lots of different. Oh, actually, it shows me a few of them here, doesn't it? So we see this one is uh, aiming stability, but increased walking speed and sprint speed. This one is oh, sprint speed, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, aiming stability and recoil control. Uh, both those together. Uh, and then, oh yeah, and then we drop over to sights. It looks like the sights are going to do the same thing as they did in Modern Warfare, which is precision picture, slows down your ADS speed, and I'm guessing they're going to go through and do similar things here. Uh, then we're going to look here. This is the first apparent build that we have here. Uh, Corvus, which is a, a, a tactical laser, a left sight, a rear grip, and a underbarrel. This is only four attachments running the M4 receiver. And then we're going to see them go over here. So this is your unlock tree. So what we're seeing right here is an M4 light machine gun variant. So this is the M4. This is the one we were just working on. This is a light machine gun variant. And up here is the M16 variant. So right there, the barrels that you were seeing, or yeah, the barrels that you were seeing right, let's see, uh, right here, this receiver, this right here is directly what affects those builds on the tree. So you'll be able to convert this gun into multiple different guns like the M16 right there. Uh, the unnamed right here, uh, LMG, and then, yeah, the M16. And you're seeing that all of these have their own unlock trees as well. So apparently all of these items that you unlock in these trees also are able to be transferred back and be utilized inside of the other weapons as well, which means as you unlock a grip or a magazine or anything like that, you have access to that in these trees. And then as you unlock more barrels and more things, it looks like it's more you can unlock as well. I imagine half of these are going to be cosmetic as there is a barrel here at two and a barrel here at three uh, different muzzles. But you see that these are pretty much the exact same muzzle. 
I imagine that as you go through, these are going to be probably different cosmetic versions of similar things uh, because, you know, nothing will be simple and they'll want to make it as complicated as possible. Uh, now we've got an M16 here with different grips, sights, and all that stuff again. Um, and I imagine that's going to be how a lot of it. So right here we have the M4, the M16, the Icarus, which is going to be the LMG. The Recon, which I'm guessing is going to be a DMR. I'm not sure what a Hurricane is going to be, but I'm guessing it's going to be probably similar to like a Honey Badger. Oh, we're sacrifices range and stopping power for increased ammo capacity and enhanced stability. So, yeah, these are your receivers. 556 five, Icarus, lightweight squad support weapon. So this is the LMG. Uh, and then he does highlight the recon. High-powered 458. So this is the 458 SOCOM. This is your marksman rifle build. So full uh, standard build AR, M4, uh, burst M16, LMG, uh, tactical rifle, and this is going to the FSS Hurricane looks to be an SMG build. So they have all of those different builds all within inside one weapon. Um, and this is how your trees are going to work, and this is how you're going to get multiple different builds in the game. Uh, we're going to see this probably similar thing for the AK platform. We'll probably see another thing for another modular platform, probably the ACR, uh, which is how we'll probably end up with stuff like the uh, Honey Badger or whatever that's going to end up being in the systems as well. So they're going through and they're showing all of those. Uh, and then we're going to get over here and it's showing the unlock trees and how it all works and transfers over. As you unlock these things, you see 1 through 22. This is going to be 1 through 22 attachments available to unlock for the FTAC Recon. Um, same thing goes for all the other weapons here on this list. 1 through 19 for the M4 or anything of that sort. Uh, and then 1 through 14 for the Hurricane. Um, different uh, grips and things of that sort as well. On. And you'll be able to use them, as, as they say, across all the different guns here. Uh, and then this is where they go through and they show how the attachment system is now going to work for cosmetics, at least for this pack. The FX, FJX Cinder is available with the pre-order of the uh, Vault Edition, which means the big, the big version is the expensive one. If you're not looking to spend the money on it, it's probably not going to apply to you. Uh, but basically, they made it now so that every attachment inside these bundles are coming with the different colorations for every build of this gun, which means you can go through, actually change your customization of the gun, and keep it looking that specific way. On one side, I see this as extremely useful. As a person who loves to customize his weaponry, I love having my stuff match. And so I foresee this to be an extremely useful, wonderful way of making sure when you're using a blueprint, it's not wasted as you want to go change a stock or a barrel or a, a suppressor. And now your suppressor is black, but the rest of your gun's white and you ju it just doesn't look right. So for the, you aesthetic people like myself, I see that where this could come in and be super helpful. Uh, on the other side, I imagine this also means there will be no more blending of your blueprints. So you will now probably no longer be able to mix a certain barrel mod with a certain stock mod to get the appearance of the weapon that you really want to see. Um, but yeah, that is how all of these show to be working as well. And then, um, like I said, there are making sure that everything kind of works together and looks nice together again for the uh, first time in a long time. So this is a bit of our first information here for actual Gunsmith and for Modern Warfare 2. The Call of Duty next event is going to be, well, by the time you're seeing this today. And um, we're going to have some more info for you. I'll continue to cover it and try to give you my best version of insight based on what they say and what I actually expect them to do. And hopefully, we'll have a lot to share and some uh, more fun stuff. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, everyone else, peace.